this is how my life went from this to this in just one day. A few years ago, I decided to move to Israel from India. Sounds exciting, right? Moving to the land of milk and honey. These were my expectations of being in a foreign country. <laughs> But the truth is very, 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 very far from the reality. This was me four and a half years ago. Lost, sad, anxious, helpless, and a 25-year-old thinking, why did I move to Israel? It's hard. It's messy. It's frustrating. There will be days you will want to book the next flight back home. But if you push through, you might just find the version of yourself you never knew existed. Just like the version you see of me right now. Just like the five stages of grief, there are five stages of moving to a new country. Get your notebook and your popcorn because you are going to enjoy this. Stage one consists of two categories, the honeymoon stage and the heartbreak stage. If you're going to be in your honeymoon stage, you're going to be excited to explore, make new friends, try the local cuisine. Basically, everything is going to feel amazing. Unfortunately, I was in the heartbreak stage. I just couldn't fathom that I had left India to move to Israel. I kept thinking, middle of the Middle East mein kaun jata hai? But I'm also Jewish and my family and I decided to start a life from scratch and see how it goes for us. Anyway, I was still am and will always be in love with India. So to leave my life, friends, childhood memories and a comfortable life back in India took a toll on my mental, emotional and physical health. And to add to the misery, four days after we moved, the first COVID lockdown was announced. Terrible timing. Gives me chills even thinking about it. Can you believe being cooped up with your Desi family for months? Kalesh, Jhagde, Rok Tok, Rona Dhona. It was like living an entire season of Big Boss. Pooja, what is this behavior? Also, Israel is not for everybody. You gotta have thick skin and resilience to live and thrive in this country. Before we move on to the next stage, there is something I would like to share with you guys. Starting in a new country can be an incredibly challenging experience. And it's normal to feel overwhelmed and uncertain with the process. If you're facing similar struggles or considering a major life change, it's important to have support. That's where BetterHelp, the sponsor of today's video, comes in. BetterHelp connects you with a licensed therapist who is trained to listen and give you helpful and biased advice. First, you go to their site and answer a few questions. And BetterHelp will match you with a professional who has years of experience helping people with struggles just like yours. You will be matched with your therapist usually within 48 hours so you can get started fast. You can do it all from your phone or your computer via phone call, video chat or messaging however you feel most comfortable. It's the easiest way possible to start talking to a therapist. Let BetterHelp connect you to a therapist who can support you all from the comfort of your own home. Visit betterhelp.com slash Moses in Israel or choose Moses in Israel when you sign up and enjoy a special discount on your first month. Moving on to the next stage, which is the frustration stage. The most annoying stage of all five stages because it carries forward as you progress. Why can't anything work the way it did back home? Why is the food so bland? And why is the public transport so shitty? Where is the hospitality and customer service? And why do the dogs of Tel Aviv have a better life than the humans of Tel Aviv? And why does everyone stereotype me as the Indian person? I mean, why do I even exist? You will be frustrated at all times of the day. I was comparing everything to India. So naive of me to think India and Israel basically should have the same culture. I mean, they're so similar, but no. Anyway, eventually you will want to make peace with it and will want to move on. So slowly and truly you will slide in into the adjustment phase. This is the turning point for most people because you make a conscious effort to blend in into the new culture. I started to eat hummus and like it. I started speaking broken Hebrew wherever I went so that I can improve it. 
I started listening to Israeli songs. I was putting myself out there on Facebook groups and networking events so that I can start making friends. I started to share my positive experience with my Desi friends back home and abroad rather than cribbing. Repeat this for 21 days and this will be a habit. Who are we kidding? This stage kinda ebbs and flows because you're still going to be frustrated. But then one day your frustration phase and your adjustment phase comes to an equilibrium. That's when you enter the acceptance stage. The best phase ever. You make peace with the fact that there's nothing you can do and you're basically screwed. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. You basically make peace with it and you start seeing beyond the basic. I embodied the personality of an Israeli person and started to act like them. I started to move on from my rigid thoughts. I had also accepted that India and Israel are way different, but it's okay. And that's why these two countries are unique. I started progressing and stopped resisting. This new place and a new country started to feel like home. And then my friends, you move into the final stage, the thriving stage. You now get the culture. You understand the unspoken rules, the humor, the values. You're no longer an observer. You're now a participant. I had a magical moment where I had a full conversation in Hebrew and didn't even translate it in my brain. It was perfect. Suddenly, the world opens up. You can joke, you can connect, you can navigate daily life with so much more ease. Now, here's the kicker. The timeline for these stages is different for different people. For some, it might take a few days, for some, it might take a few months, and for some, it might take a few years. But that's okay. The key is to celebrate these milestones when they happen for you. Recognize your progress. And remember, thriving is not a destination. It's an ongoing journey of growth and adaptation. Hope this inspires you to move to a new country, start a new life, and pursue your dreams. That's it for today and I will see you next time.